Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of November. So what do we have for Aquarius for the month of November? What do we have for Aquarius? What I see is judgment. So there could be some court, there could be some court issues, legal, legal situations, um, truth coming out, being held accountable, uh, the end of a situation, a resolution of some sort, forgiveness, acceptance, release, life-changing decision, so judgment, being judged for something, making a judgment call, um, destiny, karma, um, wheel of fortune. So this is a card of karma as well. Judgment is as well. So there's some sort of change that is coming. We have the end of a cycle. This is destined change, fated event, um, making a, a life-changing decision. So there is going to be, um, well, this is very fortunate. This is good luck. The end of one cycle and the beginning of a new. Something, something is going to happen that is destined to happen. Interesting. Destiny. It's meant to be. A destined completion of some sort. Something is coming to an end. Seven of Coins, investment, something you've invested in. Uh, it's getting your reward. Again, some sort of reward. You're going to be getting some sort of reward or offer this month for something that you have created. You may be a creator or, or, or something. Somebody's going to be paying you maybe a big amount of money, some big fortune. You may be getting some big payout this month. Um... You're going to be made an offer that you're going to really need to consider. Um, it's a really good offer. I think that you should, whatever this offer is, you should definitely, somebody wants, may want you to work for them or they want to your skills or you may want to buy something from you. I think you have a lot of wisdom. I think you need to listen to your gut and you're going to be thinking about this offer quite a bit this month. This may have to do with relocation. Somebody may be asking you to relocate or to build wherever they're at or to work for them or whatever the case is. Um, you also, you, def, you have a skill, a creative skill that can make you a lot of money, just so you know. There is something that you can do, I don't know what it is, some sort of craft that can make you money, a lot of money. You are meant to do this. Open your own shop, perhaps, if you don't already have one. Um, Aquarius, you're going to be made an offer or you're going to be thinking about your next step. March, March is very prominent. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. That's never easy. Forest, muddled, unclear thinking. Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. It's interesting because I see the wisdom. I already saw the wisdom. I feel like you guys are getting wiser and wiser with each passing day. You may be feeling a little bit confused during this time. You can't see clearly. By March, everything will be absolutely clear. Um, and you need to be able to accept criticism. Okay, criticism is what allows us to change it was shows us what we need to work on um so you somebody may be criticizing you this month and it may rub you the wrong way okay 
So that's why this card is here. Um, you are, this is the end of a journey as well. There's some sort of, this is a long journey, either physical or mental will leave you wiser at the end. I think that the, that this, the journey that you have been on has left you wiser at the end. It's time for a change, a positive change. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, it's unclear. Your future is unclear and you may be a little bit worried, but I don't think you have anything to worry about because whatever is happening is very positive. Um, Wheel of Fortune is positive change. It's good luck that it's on its way. It's something fortunate coming. A gift, perhaps. Being at the right place at the right time and somebody making you an offer. Somebody coming in. Coming in. I don't know if you have a shop. I feel like it's a shop. I don't know why I want to keep saying that. They Or they come into your uh, place, wherever you're at. Or a store. You may meet them at a store. Yeah, you may be at the right place at the right time and uh, meet somebody. It has to do with a store, it, whatever that means. Um, oh my God, you're definitely getting some sort of payout, something that you deserve. Definitely. We have coins and the Wheel of Fortune. It's about money. This is money related. This is getting what you deserve financially. An offer, a very generous offer. Somebody's going to be making you a generous offer. That's a problem. So that's insecure, insecurities. Um, hmm. Interesting. Nine of Pentacles reversed. You're going to be getting an offer. You may feel like you don't have enough to offer, like you're not good enough. Hmm. Mm, this is a no. It's a no. No. Um, now, this right here is you must take action. You must take action. Some of you may not want to go independently or, or you don't want to give up your independence. Could go either way. Say, for example, say if you if you work for yourself, somebody wants you to work for them. You're like, hell no, I ain't giving up my independence. That could be the case. That could be the case. So, this is a no. No. Whatever the, this is a no. What <laughs> is magician reverse? I feel like you could be, you may, you, you may be like, nah, I don't think so. This nine of, this nine of pentacles reversed is um, insecure, a need for discipline. Um, I don't need anybody. Yeah, I feel like you're going to receive an offer, but you might not want to take it. Um, hmm. This Ace of Swords is a new beginning, taking a new approach. Look at things from a new perspective. It is. So you're, this is a new idea. It's a new truth. It is the new offer. Something that, um, oh, it's a new opportunity. Um, a new idea. It's something that you probably, this, somebody will be presenting you with an option that you probably have never considered. Put it that way. Mmm. Major shake up. This may shake you. It's going to be a shock, surprise, uh, disruption, major disruption. Um, six of six of wands. Now this is a victory, victory after a battle. The tower is a faded event as well. It's where you you are shocked. You're shocked. I think you're going to be shocked by some sort of communication from somebody that wants to give you something. It's going to shock you. It is going. It's going to be a shocking surprise. Um, you're going to have to choose. You're going to have to make a choice. Do you want to? Do you want to go or do you want to stay? This is this is about expansion. You have an opportunity to expand your horizons. You know, to step into new territory. You're going to be urged to do so. You've got some sort of public recognition as well. It feels like somebody recognizes your value. Okay, they, And you may not even recognize. You may not recognize how good you are at this skill or whatever it is. But somebody else does. Anyhow, um, the Six of Wands. That uh, Six of Wands is victory. Making progress. It is a yes. Yes. It's being recognized. Uh, and this is... This is making a decision to focus on a future, something very exciting. Uh, like I said, broadening your horizons, uh, leaving something behind. 
I feel you may be skeptical. You may be very skeptical about this offer. You may not trust it. You may be like, what kind of tricks does this person have up their sleeve? There's, there's, there could be some fear. You're not wanting to take any action. I think that you're going to need time to think about whatever this offer is that is coming in. Um, there's fear of change here. There is definitely fear of change. And I feel like uh, you're going to have to make a decision whether you want to stay doing what you're doing or whether you want to go. Okay, this is um, this is a new partnership of some sort. It is. If somebody wants to partner up with you. But I think that, you know, you are you may be very weary. What, what's the, what kind of tricks does this person have up their sleeve? You know? Hmm. Yeah, very weary. This is very weary. I think that you have come a very long way. And I think there's somebody that you know, wants you to give them a chance. They want you to give them a chance. Now, I don't know if this is a love connection or a work offer or what. Somebody wants you to give them one more chance. And I feel like you don't trust them. I feel like you don't trust them. You'd be like, no, nah, I don't need you. I'm better off on my own. I've been doing just fine by my own and, you know, on my own or whatever. Whether this is work-related or, or love-related. This is a shocking... Um, communication shocking information okay so you're going to be shocked by what you hear or by this offer that comes your way somebody wants to have victory with you okay they want you on their team put it that way um but i think you've come so far you may you may be like uh i don't know I'm very determined to take care of myself. I think you you need to protect yourself. I think you will need to keep your boundaries or, or you know, to set boundaries. And I think that uh, whoever this person is that is surprising you, uh, you really, really, really don't trust them. I think you know who this person is or there's just something about them that rubs you the wrong way. Um... <clears throat> It almost feels like you may feel like you're not really qualified for the job as well. You're not really qualified or they're not qualified. You may feel like, you know, this isn't a good match. Uh, two of swords reversed. Now that is, that's exposure. Seeing the truth. You will see the truth. You will see. You'll be able to see through. the what, Whatever this person is trying to hide from you, if they're trying to hide anything, that's why we have this muddled, unclear thinking. You will see it. At first, you might not see it, but eventually you will. So it may start out where you're confused, but I feel like this person will say something that will clear things up, okay? Or you will see something about this person that clears things up. Um... I think that you have a lot of overwhelming fears, a lot of over, definitely fears. Um, this may be somebody that you have turned away from in the past. Maybe you blocked them in the past. They blocked you. There's been some sort of blocking. Okay. Um, you're definitely going to want to guard yourself from this person. I think that, but, but I think that there's an opportunity to start with a clean slate. With this person this person may want to start with a clean slate with you um, and you have an opportunity to do so so that but you're gonna have to make a choice um, but that wheel of fortune is destiny something is happening it's very positive it's meant to be you're gonna be receiving a generous offer from somebody that I think there's been some previous interaction with you've interacted with this person before if not in this lifetime another one um, this is about a partnership um, I think you've come a really, really, really long way. You may, you may want to continue to block this person. You may, you may want them. This could be a test. It could be a test of where you're at in your life. A test of your um, the lessons that you have learned. Whether you want to repeat the same lesson over again or not. You know, I feel like. Uh, 
you've come so far. You know, I think that you're going to have to make a painful, stressful decision in regards to somebody that abused you. This is an abuse of power. Somebody that made you feel less than worthy. You know, they made you feel... Uh, down, incapable, inadequate. This person made you feel like you weren't good enough. Now this person wants you to give them another chance. Now I don't know what kind of relationship this is, but it's definitely some sort of partnership, somebody you've worked with before or been in some sort of relationship with before. It's going to be quite a surprise. It's going to be a shock. It's going to be a shock to your system when you hear from this person or communicate with this person. Whether it's a new job offer or what, you're going to be shocked. But that Two of Swords reversed is emotionally guarded, blocking, not letting anybody in. And this is wounded um, hermit going within to think about. You're going to need to go within to think about your options. That's for damn sure. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, um, Gemini. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Anyhow, I feel like you have made so much progress. You have. You have made so much progress. You've brought a, brought a lot of peace and you've brought a lot of balance and you've brought a lot of success to your life. And you got somebody here that is coming to shake it up. This is a test. This is a test. It's a test of your perseverance. It's a test of your strength. It's a test of your willpower. You're going to have to be disciplined as well. You're gonna, it's gonna, it's a test of your, of your knowledge. Okay. It's a test of your, you, wisdom, wisdom. You're gonna, you're gonna have to really, really use your inner wisdom and be aware of, uh, who you're dealing with. And you are gonna be aware of it. You are gonna see. I think that you are gonna see very, very clearly exactly who you're dealing with. Uh, whoever you're dealing with is going, is presenting you an offer that I believe is not stable, okay? It looks like it's a very generous offer to me. It looks like it's generous. It does. But I don't feel like it's a stable offer. I don't think it's a long-term offer. I don't think it's something that can last. And I think that you're going to see that. So I think that you do need to be careful. You do need to be wary. And you do need to have your guard up. Um... Good luck.